Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. In today's video, I want to answer my top five email questions. Yes, these are questions that you guys have asked of me and I get these questions over and over and I just want to come to you with an answer. So hopefully that will resolve that issue with, with, the, with you. My first question is how to view my videos in order. Um, guys, the best way that I know to tell you to do that is to go to YouTube on the web and in the search box up at the top of the page type in Code Master Coach and it will take you to a listing of several of my videos but find my channel video and when you click on that it will take you to my channel on YouTube and if you will look at the videos click the videos window from there it will list each one of my videos and my grid is set up, it gives me the newest one on top, but you can change it to oldest video first. And if you view my videos in order, that will help you to get an up top, you know, view all of my videos, see all of them, and stay current and be current with me. Um, question number two is what coding program would I recommend? And you guys, my response is the same to all of them. I don't recommend a single program because I don't know every single coding program out there. I just ask that, or I recommend that you look for an AAPC, American Academy of Professional Coders, or an AHIMA, American Health Information Management Association approved program. These are the two programs that I'm a member of, that I work with, that I'm, I feel pretty confident in. Now, which ones are, you'll have to ask on your end. But I do know that their certification is the certifications that I usually see with job advertisements um, for coding positions. They want that CCA, that CPC, or that CCS. Question number three, which certification should you sit for? Um, I have a video that talks about the different types of certifications that are out there. And I ask you, what type of environment do you want to code in? Outpatient, inpatient, that usually determines which certification that you should sit for. So you're going to have to decide that. I recommend the CCA or the CPC in the beginning because those are entry level certifications. And the CCS per AHIMA recommends three years coding experience before sitting for that exam because it's a harder exam. But again, you'll have to determine which certification you should sit for. And again, it usually depends on the setting, outpatient, inpatient, ambulatory, same day surgery, in, you know, inpatient, whatever setting you desire to work in determines your certification. Question number four, what should a coding program consist of? Um, with Codemaster Coach, I look for um, a Codemaster uh, coding program that has intro, intermediate, and advanced ICD-10 CM coding and PCS coding, diagnoses and procedures. I look for CPT, intro and advanced coding, um, an intro to pharmacology, a medical terminology, um, some pathology anatomy and physiology because you got to know the science behind the disease process and some type of billing and reimbursement because a lot of times they want coders to do in the outpatient setting to do the coding and the billing so again you're going to look for some type of thorough coding program that just doesn't just teach coding but teaches you a little more in depth about the anatomy behind the disease process as well as the billing and reimbursement side of it. And question number five, do I plan to cover an entire program? Yes, I do. That's why um, I get several requests on, will you teach PCS coding? Will you teach ER coding? Will you teach same day surgery coding? And I will, but when I first started my channel, I started my channel for mainly for stay at home moms that one can't afford right now to go back to school um, or even subscribers that are at home that want to learn a trade online and because I've taught an entire program from beginning to end and because I work full-time this is something that I enjoy doing which is teaching 
And that was the purpose of my YouTube channel, was to start a, a program from beginning to end. Yes, my program will take longer because I'm on YouTube. I don't meet students every single day like you would in college. I upload a video average once or twice a week. Um, I usually only run one to two classes. Medical terminology, the numbers weren't there to really run that program full time like I'm doing the coding program online with YouTube. But um, I'm planning on going back to uploading a coding program, a coding video on Sundays and a medical terminology video on Wednesdays um, soon. Start back doing that so I can get two classes out of the way and start getting into some pharmacology and anatomy. So yes, ultimately I do plan to run an entire program online on my YouTube channel. So anyway, hopefully I've answered majority of your questions with those five questions. Um, how to view my videos. What coding programs do I recommend? Again, look for an AAPC or an AHEMA approved program. Or my advice to you is look to see what's advertised for coding positions that you're interested in. Look to see what certifications they're looking for. I heard there's this national health care billing certification. It's a certification I haven't heard of. And what I tell my students is make sure you're applying to a program that's offering certification in an area that the jobs or, or employers are looking for. You'd hate to take a coding program and after completion can't find a job. So make sure they're offering the certification that employers are looking for and that is not just a coding program. Because what good is it going to be in the end if, if your certification is not going to hold water. So again, check into it, see what employers are looking for and make sure that's the coding program that you're sitting for or that you're taking. What certifications do I recommend? You determine that, but I recommend that you go to the AAPC and the HEMA website and view the different certificates that they offer and see which one you're interested in. Um, what should a coding program consist of? Just make sure it covers entry all the way to advanced coding. You want to make sure you know your coding like the back of your hand. Okay. And do I plan to cover an entire program? Yes, but again, it's going to be a process with me. So um, that's why I do I support you in finding coding programs elsewhere. Those of you that want to learn under me on YouTube, stay on board. We'll be uploading videos again once a week, and we're going to get this stuff down. We're going to learn medical coding. All right, thanks, guys. See you in the next one.